Welcome to another Invisible Wheelchair Podcast Tapping Recording. In this recording, I'm going to take you through a simple tapping session related to the podcast you just listened to. This is a simple tapping session as a starter to your tapping journey. This is not meant to be a full tapping session, but a starter that you can build on as you do more tapping and more of what your spirit needs to tap on comes out. If you have not tapped before and don't know or understand emotional freedom techniques, better known as tapping, then I suggest you go to FocusedHealthyFamily.com or FamilyOCD.com. Go to the About EFT page to find out more about how to tap and the tapping process before you begin this recording. This recording will not go over those details about how to do EFT or tapping. What I'm going to do is say a phrase, give you a space to repeat that phrase as we continue to tap. I will for myself start at the point above the eyes at the eyebrow and move to each point with each phrase or word that I use. I will not say the point name during this tapping recording. Remember again, if you have not tapped before, then please go to FocusedHealthyFamily.com or FamilyOCD.com and go to the About EFT page to find out more about it. Make sure to keep breathing normally. Keep hydrated. Drink plenty of water as you tap. And most of all, be conscious of what thoughts come up during your tapping. I call these pop-ups. They can be words, phrases, songs, pictures, or feelings. These could be very important messages from your mind as to what needs to be worked on, so you may want to write them down and add those pop-ups to your future tapping sessions. I would not brush them off lightly, no matter if they don't match what you're immediately tapping on. The mind does not bring them up lightly. So let's begin now. This is the tapping recording for Podcast 28, Sensory Motor Obsessions. Let's start this out with a good deep breath. Alright, we're going to start with some karate chop points and some statements. Even though I believe my life is going to be ruined by these thoughts. I choose to totally and completely accept myself anyway. Even though I'll never have peace of mind with these thoughts. I choose to totally and completely accept myself anyway. Even though I will never be able to get rid of this problem. I choose to totally and completely accept myself anyway. Even though, I believe this obsession will never go away. I choose to totally and completely accept myself anyway. Alright, let's move up to the um, eyebrow. I'm always thinking. Paying too much attention to my body. I'm always trying to distract myself. I'm trying to distract myself from these movements. Distract myself from these thoughts around the movement. They are way too much. Will they go on forever? 
I have to distract myself. Then the thoughts will stop. But they don't. My body is doing what it's supposed to do. It's my thoughts that aren't. I get stuck on a part of my body. All of my parts have been working for a long time. My body is a fine-tuned machine. My body is a miracle. I choose to pay attention to the miracle workings of my body to appreciate not to obsess to love my body and all its workings not to fret my body is working the way it was intended I don't believe there's anything I have to do to keep it working beautifully. My body is a miracle and I so appreciate that miracle. So I am relaxing and knowing that my body is working in perfect order. There is nothing I have to worry about. My body is a miracle machine. with a lot of moving parts all working a perfect unity so I am ready to relax and enjoy all the moving parts of my body without fear or worry I am ready to relax now. I am relaxing and ready to move on from this. I am relaxing and releasing any fears now. I am relaxing and releasing fears now. I know that was just some simple phrases, but I hope you can go over them a couple of times and then be very open in your mind as to what comes out from those phrases. What does your mind say about them? Is there resistance in there? If there's resistance, what is it saying? And what is it saying about you? So as you hear these resistance, the more you do this tapping, be open to tapping around those resistance and find out what this is really about. Do these tappings every day and be very open to what's going on in the mind, the real messages that are back there that will help you to overcome them 
instead of just pushing them back down. So remember, keep tapping, talking, and transcending your life into new heights. Thank you for tapping, and keep tapping, and have a great day.